In this video, I will be silently installing LibreOffice and I will use PSExec to execute the installation as a system account. And the main reason why I'm doing it is because I want to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. And if you want more details about that, you can watch my video that I have here. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now I will begin this video by downloading LibreOffice. I will click on the link that I have here. That brings me to the download page for LibreOffice. Then I will click on this download button. And it should start the download for us. Now I will go to my downloads folder. And wait for the download to finish. And now that the download is done, we see that we have an MSI package. And that's great because now we know that we can use standard MSI switches to install the software silently. I will be installing LibreOffice inside of a virtual machine, so I will right click on the file, click copy, go to my VMware workstation, and here I have prepared the virtual machine and I have this fold software folder. I will move the file here. And in this folder, I also have the PSX, PSExec executable. And I will use to start the LibreOffice installation as a system. So the next step for us is to open a command line. I will go to my start menu and then type CMD. Then I will click run as administrator. And the next step that we want to do is to change our directory in our command line to the directory where we have our executables. So I will click on the link here. Then I will copy it. Go back to the command line and here I will type cd and paste in the directory. And if I do it there, I can see my, exec my executables here. And also if I do now who am I, it is saying that I'm a user that's named admin. And like I said, I will be performing the installation as a system account. And to do that, I need to allow, use psexec to start a new command line. So now I will type psexec.exe minus i for interactive minus s for system and then cmd. I will agree to the license terms. And here we have our new window. But this time if I type who am I, it is saying that I'm anti-authority system. So everything that I'm doing in this command line, I'm doing it as a system user. We want to change the directory to our software folder once more. So I'll type cd, paste in the directory, and if I do there once more, we see our executables again. The next step is to launch the installation, and for that I will go back to my GitHub page. And as you can see here, I have the command that I will be using to install LibreOffice silently. And here I'm using cmdc, and this part is not necessary. I'm just using it to see when the installation is fully finished just by looking at the command line. Next, I'm providing the file name. Here I'm using the switch quiet and this is the main switch that makes this installation a silent installation. Then I'm using a switch no, no restart and here I'm asking for the installation not to restart my computer after the installation. And also I'm using a parameter all users equals one and this makes this installation a machine-wide installation and this means that all the users on that computer will be able to access and use LibreOffice and if you want more details about available parameters and switches you can check out the link here that goes to the Libre documentation page where you can see uh, all the avail available options so I will go back, copy the command that I have here, go back to my virtual machine, I will paste in the command and click enter. And we need now to wait for the installation to finish. And now the installation has finished. We see that we have a desktop icon right here. I will click on it. And it starts LibreOffice for us. And everything seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy LibreOffice using other deployment tools such as Group Policy. So like and subscribe if you want to see that. And see you in the next one.